In this video, I am going to show you a quick and easy way to install WordPress on your computer. And this will give you a local environment to fully develop your website before you move it to a live hosting. This method I'm going to show you is super simple and straight to the point. You don't need to manually set up a local server or manually install WordPress and you will not have to pay for domain name or hosting. And the best part is you can use this to create as many websites as you want. So before we dive in, if you get value from this video, please hit the thumbs up button, give this video a like. I really appreciate that. And if you want to see more helpful videos like this, make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section. I'll be there answering your questions. And with all that said, let's get started. So just open a new tab in your browser and then type in local WP. Now you want to go ahead and click on the first result. So the name of this app is local. And this is the application we need to run WordPress on our computer. Now you just want to go ahead and click download for free. Now you need to choose the operating system of your computer. So I'll just select mine here. Then you want to enter your first name, last name, and then your organization type. I'll just select independent freelancer or consultant and then enter your email address right here. After entering all of these details, you can just go ahead and click get it now. After downloading the app, just go ahead and run the installation. Just drag it into the applications folder. And now we can go ahead and open the app. Click open. After going through all the required set of steps and you open the app for the very first time, it should look like this. And now what you just want to do is to click on create a new site. And here you have three options. You can either create a completely new site from scratch or you can use a blueprint that you created with local, or you can use an existing zip file. Let's say you exported a zip file from a different website, you can use that here. So right now I'm going to use create a new site and then click continue. And then you want to give your site a name. So let me just use my first local site and you can open advanced options and then you can set the site domain and then the site path. But all of these options don't really matter right now. So I'll just use the default settings and then click continue. And then this is where you get to choose the WordPress environment you want to use for a website. You could use the preferred default setup or you could create your own custom setup. Now the default setup comes with the latest version of PHP, Nginx web server, and then the latest version of MySQL. Or you could use your own custom environment. You can select the PHP version, the web server, and then the database that you like to use. But I'll just stick with the preferred option and then click continue. And here's the third and final step where you can set up your WordPress admin details. So you want to enter your admin username. I'll just use admin, then set a password for yourself and then enter the email you want to link to this website. So I'll just enter my email address right here. And if you click the advanced options, you can get select if you are setting up a multi-site or not. So I'll just check no and then click on add site. And in just a few seconds, local is going to handle all of the background work for you and set up a brand new WordPress website on your computer. All right, our website is ready. And these are the details of our site. You can see the site host is on localhost port 1003. And then the SSL details, the web server, the PHP version, the database. And then I'm going to enable one click admin login with this checked. We just need to click the WP admin button and it will take us straight to our WordPress admin dashboard. Also, you can get to see the version of WordPress this website is using, and it is always on the latest version of WordPress. Now, if you come over to database, you can get to see the details of your database, the host, the database name, the username, and the password. And then if you come over to tools, one very useful tool on local is Live Links. Live Links will allow you to have the website locally on your computer, but still be able to share the link with other people so that they can visit and check the site. This can be very helpful, let's say, if you're working with a client and you want them to see a preview of the website even before it goes public, you can use local live links to do that. But this will require you to log in you know, to your local account so you can click on login to use. But right now, all we can do is to click on WP Admin to log into our admin dashboard. And as you can see, guys, this is our brand new WordPress installation. So if I click on visit site, you're going to see what we have. And this website will work the same way every WordPress website will work. The only difference is that this is currently 
only accessible on your computer, except of course, if you're using the live links on local. And with this, you have a local environment to develop your website before you make it public. Another very good use case of having WordPress installed locally on your computer is, let's say if you already have a live website and you need to make some updates or you need to make some changes, you don't want to do it directly on the live website because you might break things and you don't want a situation your users are already on your website and then some things are not working properly because you are making some changes or the website is still under construction. In that case, you can just create the local version of that website, make all the changes, make all your updates and run all the tests you need to run before you push it back to your live website. And the good thing is since this website is installed on your computer, you can access all the website files without using FTP. So let's come over to the local app again and then click go to site folder and that will show you the folder that contains all your website files. So this is site right here, first local site, remember that is the name of our website. And now you can click on app and this is a public folder that contains all your website content. And if we come back to WP content, you're going to see the plugins, the themes and uploads. So if you need to make any changes directly on the website files, you can easily do that from right here. And there is no limit to the number of websites you can create with local. If you want to add a new site, you can just click on this plus icon and then follow through to set up a brand new website. And that's basically it for this video, guys. I hope you found this video helpful. And before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.